everybody welcome to this week's live now what I'm going to talk about today is about the four core principles of profit first now these are the four basic fundamentals of profit first which I really um, see being overlooked so often now I've just got back last week from a week down at Threadbow at the snow with my family um, and if you caught my live last week as I mentioned I've been able to do those things in my business and help my clients do those things in my business pretty much because of these four core principles. So I've got a worksheet. If you would like it, comment plates below and we'll get it sent through to you. Now, what I see with trades based businesses is they run into money troubles because they have three kind of major frustrations. So the first one is you are exceptional at your trade, but you've never been shown how to manage your money and your cash flow. Um, and if you have, it's been very patchy and not very well done. And you're expected to know these things, yet you've never learnt them. The second thing is many of you come to me and you're really keen to learn about managing your cash flow but you just don't know where to start and so you get super frustrated so you don't do anything because you can't find a solution and the third thing is you're so bloody flat out it's really difficult to find the time to be able to investigate how to work this out yourself so what i really understand from talking to hundreds of trades-based businesses over the years is what you want is just a really simple way to manage your cash. You want to have somebody who will support you and guide you and kick your butt a little bit if you need it but most importantly is set a framework for you to help you follow that to make it really easy and simple and that's the third thing that I hear all the time is it's just too bloody hard. Like we just want it to be simple and efficient and effective. We don't want to waste huge amounts of time on this. And understandably, most trade trades based business owners are not super excited about the numbers. Um, so my philosophy, I guess, is let's not spend enormous amounts of time on something that doesn't excite you. Let's find a way to put in a simple and easy and efficient framework, such as Profit First, to be able to help you manage your cash topics today there is going to be four so the first one we talk about in profit first is small plates so the idea here is if you have a smaller plate you tend to eat less food for example you go to a buffet we tend to overeat simply because there is more available to us similar with your bank account if you just have one or two bank accounts with all your money sitting in that bank account you tend to overspend, we tend to overspend because we feel this false sense of security because we have money in there. And then what happens is we have these huge ups and downs. We have got money in the bank account, we feel great. Oh, money's dropped, we don't feel so great. And it goes up and down and that makes for quite a stressful um, business. And that's what we want to avoid. The second thing is we want to start putting in a process that is really easy and simple and I'll, you'll hear me talk about easy simple efficient all the time and that is exactly what we do so the idea around serving sequentially is making sure from a profit first perspective that we are putting some money aside for profit even if it's just a little tiny one percent to start with we want to make sure that we are paying ourselves the wage we deserve not what the business can pay us but what we need to live on now i'm a big believer in that your business should work for you you shouldn't work for your business now of course that doesn't happen overnight and it's something we need to work towards but what i hate hearing is clients who've been in business for 5, 10, 15, 20 years and they're still taking a really tiny amount of money from their business for their personal spending. So we want to flip that. The third thing we want to do is remove temptation. So when we talk about remove temptation, what we're talking about is when we are starting to save up those funds for profit and you know putting money aside for tax and making sure we're meeting all our obligations, for many of us, having those in our regular bank account where we can see those balances each and every day is not great because when we see that money 
um, gathering there and getting higher, we then get to a point where we feel like we can take that money and use it for something else. So, and then we have those ups and downs again. So what we want to do is put money aside into another bank where we don't see it all the time. And that way, it just as generally as humans, we will forget about that because we're not looking at it all the time and that money will accumulate much quicker with much less chance of us stealing from that bank account to pay something else in our business rather than actually working on our business and trying to make it more profitable. The fourth thing that we like to do or do in Profit First is we enforce a rhythm. So again, one of the pieces of feedback I get all the time is, I, I, I do it one week, but then I forget for three weeks, then I you know, spend a heap of time getting caught up on invoicing and quoting and so on. Then I'm too busy to do it. And again, we've got these ups and downs. So by implementing Profit First in your business, what we are doing is finding a system that works for you, finding a time that works for you and making sure that we stick to that time. Now, as an example, once you've set Profit First up in your business, the week to week maintenance of Profit First in your business should literally take five, 10 minutes. It is that simple and easy. So if anybody is watching this and you have, uh, you're doing Profit First in your business and it's taking you more than five, 10 minutes a week to do Profit First, then please reach out because there's definitely some areas where we can help to make that more efficient and more simple for you. And so I just want to quickly recap small plates, lots of number of bank accounts for each specific purpose. So we know exactly what the money is for. We want to serve sequentially. So we want to make sure that we put money aside for profit. We want to make sure that we're paying ourselves. We want to make sure that we're putting money aside for tax so we don't get a surprise ATO tax bill. We want to make sure that we're putting money aside for each and every purpose in our business so that nothing gets forgotten or overlooked. The third thing, we want to remove temptation. So if you are the type of business owner who will be tempted to take money from any of those other accounts where there's funds accumulating, let's put that in a bank in another in another bank so that you don't you're not tempted to take money from there that then means you're going to have a shortfall for a liability down the track and the fourth thing enforce a rhythm a really simple weekly process five ten minutes max to make sure that you implement and stick to profit first in your business now if you would like a copy of the worksheet as I said comment plates below if you are running profit first in your business already and it is taking you a lot of time and you're not doing it regularly reach out below post help below and we can reach out and chat have an amazing day everybody